iconic New York fit pic. All taken inspiration by the OG films. How are you doing this and you haven't seen a movie? I'm, I love the energy, all right? Let's get it. It's only right that we do something iconic. Are you ready for it? Because it's actually right. <laughs> To the windows, to the wall, to the wall, till sweat drop down my b PAQ presents New York, New York. Welcome back to PAQ. We are the best fashion show on the internet. Yeah. If you don't believe us, cue a trailer of every man as we get up to on a Thursday. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll get very upset. And um, I will come and I will. Word on the street is you guys like turt bags. We are going to give one turt bag away to a random commenter in the first hour. So we are in New York and we wanted to do a sick New York challenge. So we're going to be taking inspiration from New York on the screens. That includes movies, TV shows, music videos, stuff that we've either grown up watching or stuff that we, we watch today, basically. My favorite all-time New York film is definitely The Warriors. Warriors, come out to play. I love Everybody Hates Chris. Yeah, I guess like Everybody Hates Chris, you know, I think it was set in like the 1980s, I think. Boys would wear like slim fitting like tops tucked into their trousers. Yeah. Or like they, they wear like the granddad kind of hats. There was yeah. like an effortless swag. There's a film called um, How to Recognize Your Saints. For me, it was like, I watched it, it's kind of like kids, but it's like a, a, a little bit different, but it really shows like the youth of New York. Go home and take care of your father. That's all you got left. And this album got uh, Dwayne Downey Jr. in it and um, Shilla LaBeouf. Between Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, fucking Robert no. Downey Jr. <laughs> and the Shia LaBeouf. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell, man. Sorry, guys, it's a fucking... Dwayne Downey Jr. Fucking hell, man. So we're going to be going out and exploring the city of New York to take our pics, but we're not from around here, so we're linking up with a tour guide who's going to be taking our photos, none other than Dee Dee Lovelace. I'm Dee Dee Lovelace, and I am a 20-year-old skater, DJ actor from Brooklyn. Who is part of the Skate Kitchen. They're a really sick group of girls, and they've also got a film out right now, so they're doing big things. I'm going to be the tour guide that helps assist these young men. I'm their personal photographer, I'm Meeks. We actually met her first time we came to New York with other girls, which was super sick. The one rule that we also have to make it fair, all of our shots will be shot on an iPhone. So I'm super excited, you know, to get out and explore the city. Iconic New York photo challenge. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know where to walk. <laughs> <laughs> All taken inspiration by like OG films. And I'm feeling like a big old tourist right now. You know, growing up, I've seen so many movies that I've had like been based in New York. Tons of amazing films, TV shows, music videos. It's only right that we do something iconic, to, you know, match an iconic place for all. The movie on screen that I'm taking inspiration from is the movie Kids that came out in 1995. I love that movie, very dark, not gonna lie. Definitely something I'm gonna play to my kids when I feel like they're stepping out of line and be like, okay, cool, watch this movie, this is where you're going. And I won't even stop you. If that's the direction you wanna go. Do you know what I mean? Skating is definitely the main inspiration behind my fit pick today. And all the kids and kids were skaters. So man and man's gonna have to be a skater today, innit? My idea is taking reference from the Get Down, one of my favorite series ever. The styling, the aesthetics were insane. The music, that era really gave me inspiration on how I kind of wanted to rock 
some of my gums even to this day, so I already take reference from that. I'm ready to take this picture, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking inspiration from a very, very old school film, The Warriors. Basically, OG gangs go against one particular group. They start off in the Bronx and they end up in Coney Island. Right now, we're out here in Brooklyn and we're gonna head to the Coney Islands to get the shoot popping. Uh, I'm on Wall Street, about to meet DD. We've got a sick idea I want to do like Wall Street kind of vibe, but I think first of all, like, I just want to do tourists for a little bit and kind of get to know the area. Should we get a hot pretzel? Okay, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I know you probably wasn't going to have a board. So look, I brought one for you. Wow. So I brought this for you today to use. Nah, you're hot. This is sick. I've never really had the hot pretzel properly, like. Yeah, just salt and bread. I mean, <laughs> it's a thing. You're really selling me on it. <laughs> I probably should try to sell it to you since we're like on Wall Street and that's like the whole theme, right? And Yoni's like, sell me this pen. I ain't seen it yet. What? I've seen Shaq watch it in the flat. How are you doing this and you haven't seen a movie? Where do you think I should kind of like get this picture taken that I need to get? Brooklyn. Banks might be a good choice or LES skate park. Did you say it's called LES skate park? LES. Oh, I was about to say, we can't go to no up block places, fam. <laughs> There's some cool stairs, like I know around here well, somewhere. Like, like the street stair thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Originally, I was thinking like the stock exchange. Yeah. There's no getting in there. So I thought instead of doing the actual business side, why don't you do like the leisure side? Cool. Glass of whiskey, Financial Times, that kind of vibe. How you'd imagine like a rich kind of guy right. to, to kick back? Right. I want to get some pictures in Coney Island and on the subway. I want it to be crazy insane sick. You know, people go there for the beach and stuff. It's like snowing, but it's all right. We're going to make it happen, bro. Let's begin with your weather. It is going to be calm tonight and for the first part of tomorrow, but that's going to change quickly as a blast of winter weather is heading our way. I'm, I love the energy. All right, let's get it. It's literally like Shaq, salty as f So I know it's a journey, so I got snacks. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, planning ahead. So I haven't skated in a year, okay. like nowhere near. You know we're not like about to get an Uber there, so I hope you're prepared to like start cruising now. I'll meet you there. The Bronx, the birth of hip hop, the get down, set here. Yeah. This is crazy. I told you from time ago to watch The Get Down. Have you watched The Get Down yet? No. <laughs> He's being dramatic. I want to say, right, you might think I'm weird for this. Whatever laundry detergent you guys use, it smells really good and there's like a particular scent and I've like grown to like it. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Jake. Don't bite it, would do. 73 questions with Didi Ardelia. Who would you say is one of the greatest DJs in hip-hop? Ooh, wow. Grandmaster Flash. Milk or egg? Milk. <laughs> Try it all. <laughs> I gave you like... DJ Jazzy Jeff is ridiculous. Skateboarding or skiing? Skateboarding! London or New York? Both! We're going full New York without our pretzel, hopping like a yellow taxi, and get to the apartment. Okay. The upstairs that I was talking about are right down the road. Okay. So I feel like we should go over there and like get your shot before like all the light is gone. Let's go. <gasps> Need to crash into that car. Mad. Come on in. <laughs> As you're all aware, I've been killing it on the stock market recently. I managed to splash out on a new crib. Just pulled up to the spot, the staircases in the Bronx. Feel like we can get an image here. I'm just ready to get this show on the road. So over here with the seating area. <laughs> Don't know why we installed that. We're here at Coney Island, we made it. Yes, this is. Um, Nathan's here on the corner. It's like a really famous hot dog spot. The kitchen. It's minimal because you won't be cooking. Exactly. Yeah. So we are currently at LES Skate Park. Why did you pick this park? Okay, so I picked this park because it's pretty iconic. Like when people think of New York Skate Park, they think of LES first. So I'm going to the skate park. Expect very, 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 very mediocre skating from me. 
And my favourite bit, the bedroom, lounge, jacuzzi, viewing area. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> have a look at that. Go on, have a look. Take it all in. So I need to get into my fit, obviously. Are you ready for it? Because it's actually mad. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So let's go Nathan's real quick, get a hot dog. Then we're going to go to the boardwalk and then I need to get changed. I'm going to get changed into my suit. Okay. And then we'll grab his photo. Okay. And I'm just going to have a nap. <laughs> How's that? Mmm. Mmm. I hear the theme tune playing in the background. I see the opening credits, you know what I'm saying? Starring Elias Riardi, the get down. We here. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh, this one's sick. I went from Daniel Omas, who used to work in a skate park, scraping kids off the floor, to Daniel Omas in penthouse apartments, filling bathtubs with whiskey. Oh my God. What is Jesus. that? That's me by surprise. <laughs> The water's everywhere. Yeah. And there's people that are actually genuinely trying to skate, and I can't really, like... I'm not trying to get in anyone's way at the same time as well. I skate a little bit, like I cruise in that, but I'm not a skater. I'm not trying to appropriate you man's culture. I respect it hard. And we started taking some photos, and we was trying to record. It got so peak. The rain, cameramen getting licked up with the wind. It wasn't really going to plan. I'm trying to skate take a photo, record you, all at the same time. It's just too much and my brain's just kind of like, I'm having like the no, maddest I anxiety. Feel you. I feel you. Do you know what I mean? It's okay. Not gonna lie, the weather got a real peak. We had to move out real quick. I'm in my own head. It's me, it's my own fault. I'm in my own head. I'm trying to celebrate you man's culture, so hold tight all the skaters that might be watching this. But we're outside the subway, we're gonna get some pictures on the subway. This weather condition, nah, uh-uh, dead. That's a kite, so yeah. She actually came through, I can't lie. Like, the first two pictures, I was like, what? This is it? I'm done. I'm out. Like, are you crazy? Like, it was symmetrical. I had my fit looking clean. The boombox was there. It all just looked so right. So right. Who the hell sits in their penthouse and pours whiskey into a jacuzzi? This is, this is how we're coming, 2019. I ain't even mad about it. <laughs> I'm a changed man. Shaq and I could be sitting on the back of this truck right here, just like, with our skateboards in front of us, just chopping it up, like, eating snacks or some shit. Why we just that grocery store? Yeah, that grocery store right there, where you can just get, like, a drink. I know what I'm talking about a little bit. That is actually boss. You know, a lot of kids is just a lot of bullshit. They just be chilling, talking shit. There's so many images, I don't even know which one I'm gonna have to end up choosing in the end. There's gonna be bare variety, but I am, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling confident, man, you know? I feel like it speaks for itself. Try to get a shot maybe in the middle of the street. I don't know, maybe like a photo of us just bolting down this road could be quite That'd um... be cool too, yeah. When I finally found the right location for us to shoot in, we hit a problem, and that problem is called time. Unfortunately, I didn't get a photo that I liked, so we're gonna come again tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning and get the photo. So today's been a long day. We've all been freezing cold, all been fighting this weather. But today's been a good day of shooting, man. You're an OG with this. Yo, I'm feeling great. Like, judgment day. Bring it on. So thank you, Mordecai, for coming down and judging this episode. Hi, my name is Mordecai Shlomo Rubenstein. I am a journalist, documentarian, self-proclaimed garmentologist. I don't know what that is exactly. Today, I'm gonna to be judging the PAQ New York Photo Challenge. Yeah, welcome you to New York. So uh, what, you, uh, what you boys been up to this week? So we all had to start an outfit and capture an iconic New York photo. We're taking inspiration from on-screen New York. So I guess like films or you know, anything that we've seen on screen that we feel like best represents New York. Very cool. So I'm curious to see uh, what you guys came up with. Elias, you're first up. Sweet. Oh, that's <laughs> sick. Hard. I might just have to get a closer look here. Oh, f yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's Dude. a grain, yeah. Extended yeah. button tab, like trousers. And you can yeah. see the no graffiti. Nah, extended button. As soon as I heard Fit Pick New York and like, Inspire by on screen, the get down came straight to my mind. And I was like, I already have the garments. And then Bally sent me over a Is jacket. Is garments garments? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I headed over to the Bronx where the get down was obviously um, set. That's as authentic as it can get. He did it in the Bronx. And got myself a hot rod. And of course, I had to get myself a boom box as a prop, very iconic. And then the styling is basically yeah, a black kango with kazelles and I've got a Bally jacket on. Dunhill like leather pants, like brown tonal. Those just... are leather. Also at least ready should dress all the time. I love how it's in front of the steps. It is very New York with the fence and everything else. I love the scaffolding. Love the black and white Chuck Taylors with the white tee and the black kango. Bike's a little shiny new, but it's a photo. Thank you. This is, this is shot on an iPhone? Yeah, on an iPhone. Yeah. Not a commercial. Then, like, was there any component that you felt was missing as you were about to shoot this? Like, ah, wish I had a gold chain. I was interested in getting a gold rope chain, but in the end, I, we, we didn't. We just kept it to the, the bike and the boombox. No particular reason. I don't think it's missing a chain or anything. I was, I was just curious because it's just my personal crazy head. I'm always like, ah. I wish this purple was a little bit brighter. Yeah, no, I'm really The reference to like the get down and just hip hop in general, this is beautiful, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate so, it, man. Just Thank you. looking at this foot, I could just hear rapper's delight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Thanks so much, Elias. That was great. Uh, Shaq, you're up next. Oh, man. So the reference for my image was, um, you ever seen kids? Yeah, so I, I love kids. And I just love the idea of like, you know, just New York street kids just walking around and they have like this whole lifestyle that's literally based around skating. I thought that was beautiful and I wanted to document something like that. I was trying for ages to get this sick shot and then I was like to Dee, I was like, you know what? Try to perform a trick because I feel like that is going to give the photo so much more character. And then I'll just get one of the directors to, to take the photo instead. And in terms of my styling and stuff, when I'm looking back at these like skate videos, I think the worst thing in the skate community is to look sick as hell, but then you can't skate. And so I didn't want to do that. So I literally just got like this vintage um, long sleeve top that I got from, um, I think it was Metropolis or like. Oh, bought here. Yeah, I bought here. The bottom half I'm literally wearing now, which is these Carhartt baggy jeans, which I bought last time I was in New York. To slide a 40 in. I remember being in this vintage store and this guy had these sick shoes and I was like, what shoes are they? They were like, oh, these are the Osiris's D3s. And this was ages ago. I bought these. And I was like, these are what I'm going to skate in. Here in New York? Here in New York. I went to Zoomies. I, went I to mean, Zoomies. that's where the kids and kids probably got them too. Mm. Mm. I didn't really get the fit aspect of it. If that, in the concept of the challenge is you want the fit to stand out. I kind of like how it's not really so much about you or the clothes. Looks like you picked a killer location for this kids-inspired shoot, you know? There's something so cool about a photo in, uh, in New York when you can tell it's winter. I mean, look at your homie's giant down coat and that sky looks like summer. It's just a beautiful photo. The sky looks really, really clean. Such a sick reference with kids. I think my only thing I would say, obviously it's not your fault, but I wish that silver car wasn't there for me personally. But there's something cool about that, like, well, I'm gonna ask the <laughs> car to move. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see like an old school skate brand, like maybe a Zoo York t-shirt or an Etnis t -shirt. You know, I like the fact that even though this is meant to be your fit pick, it captures someone else. Thanks for that, Shag. Danny, pro photographer. <laughs> Can't wait to see what you cooked up. Oh, my. You pouring champagne to a bathtub? Pouring whiskey. <laughs> Casual morning reading the paper, dropping whiskey? <laughs> Essentially, my reference was Wolf of Wall Street. When you think of Wall Street, you think of money, you think of parties, you think of banker bankers. Originally, I wanted to get a photo in the stock market, but I was like, there's not really many creative things that you can do. So I thought, what about the other side to the lifestyle where it's like, you've just won huge on the stock markets. What do you do with it? So I wanted to do it as like really obnoxious, too much money. I love how you're sitting casually on the edge of a fancy tub in a three-piece suit. And I, I like that you can see the layers, you can see that there's a vest, you can see that there's button covered buttons. So you can see that better in that in a black and white photo, I think, than in a colored photo. It's more dramatic shooting yeah. black and white. I only shoot color 
And now with Instagram and the iPhone, it's fun to just, you know, remove and add and contrast and, you know, see what it looks like in black and white. And once in a while, I'll take a photo and, you know, I'm like, oh, let's just see what it looks like in black and white. And I can't do it. I can't, it, I even have a hard time looking at black and white photos because I know they're artsy fartsy and beautiful. And for me, it's all about like the creases, the color, the fabric. I actually can see the beauty in the black and white. I can't say anything more than just he looks like such a boss. You've nailed it, but in such like an artistic, elegant way, I think. The, the, the background is insane. My mind goes to, you know, did the waitress or my, you know, butler just bring me over a drink and I didn't like it and, you know, <laughs> that? Or was it just like I got so into the article, I meant to put it down, and while I was putting it down, it th you know, I just started drawing up scenarios in my head. It looked like something you can put in GQ and like a double page spread. I think the only thing that is bugging me. Here we go. It's just a reflection. That's just annoying me, but that's it. But what can you yeah. do? What can you do? You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't even notice it till yeah, now. Yeah, but once you notice it, you can't unnotice it. God, that's you my guys problem. Are harsh. I'll probably ruin it for everyone at home. Oh, sorry. Awesome. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> Dexter, you're up next. Yep. Save the best for last. Ooh. My reference was the Warriors, start off in the Bronx like Elias and uh, ends in Coney Island. On the day we actually went to the farm fair to get a photo there but um, we had to cancel the shoot because it was snowing. I am wearing these boots, my new rocks, I love them. They are my um, bondage punk trousers. Um, originally I was meant to wear this but it was too cold on the day so I ended up wearing a leather jacket. I've got my face mask and I've got my punk gloves. It's a great, great shot. Can't do a New York shoot and not include the subway. It didn't scream, I am in the Warriors. The thing is, I wanted to reference it a bit more. I was gonna wear like tartan trousers. I like where the leather stops and starts that you can see it's kind of like a three quarter yeah, yeah, yeah. jacket. Really cool that no one's in the background. No one's waiting on the platform. There's no agents, there's no subway workers. There's lights way back in the distance. It was a gritty image. Dexter loves that aesthetic. I love seeing photos on subway trains when there's no one there. And then this is one step further where there's no one on the platform. I want to zoom in and see like someone exiting, one little head <laughs> popping out. To me, it feels like you like the Warriors. I've visited one of the Warriors locations and took a photo there rather than recreating a photo that could have been in the Warriors. I'm glad you're not critiquing my photos, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dexter. That was great, boys. Great to see your takes on iconic New York imagery. Love the locations, love the styling. Again, I know there's only gotta be one winner. There's no losers here. No. I've never judged before, and I hope I'm never a judge. <laughs> <laughs> so the winner of the New York Photo Challenge. I'm gonna have to go with Elias. Jeez, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Big, big love to Mordecai for coming through and judging this episode. The energy, the charisma, you know, the opinion on the photos. We absolutely loved having you come through, you know. Keep uh, having fun. The love. <laughs> yeah. Hot hugs. Yeah, I'm your winner for this episode. Until next time, see you next Thursday. We are! And I think it's about time that we bring back Danny Should Have Won.